a super blue moon lit up skies around the world, Saturn made its closest approach to Earth, and SpaceX's super heavy booster makes a successful test fire. All this and more in this week's episode of Space News. Hey everybody, it's Nick from the Orbital Alliance, and check out my shirt. It's the James Webb Space Telescope Mirrors on a t-shirt. How cool is that? I actually got this shirt from 2046 Print Shop. They're a website that sells space and science themed apparel and other like utility items and wall art. It's super cool. I'm not sponsored by them, just to be clear. I'm not doing an ad, there's not an ad. Uh, I actually just really like their stuff and I like to share with you guys things that I enjoy using that are space related. So if you do like space shirts or space things to have in your office, your home, definitely check out 2046 Print Shop. I'm definitely gonna be placing an order in the future for more shirts because this one is, is so comfy and, and cool looking. Uh, I said, why don't I have more of these? So, <laughs> so anyway, just my recommendation, uh, let's get to the space news. Let's touch base regarding last week's space news episode. We were talking about Crew 7 launching to the International Space Station. Well, there's actually gonna be a bit of a Crew swap going on here shortly. Uh, Crew 7 successfully made it to the ISS last weekend and Crew 6 that's currently on board the space station is actually going to be making its return to planet Earth very shortly. Be sure to check out any of those live streams so you can see Crew 6 splash down or you can watch the replay on YouTube because those are always exciting to see humans return back to Earth. And we finally have the first imagery back from India's Chandrayaan-3 mission. The lander and rover descended to the surface of the moon last weekend, which was a monumental mission for both India and humanity. It's the first mission ever to land on the South Pole of the Moon, as well as the fourth country ever to successfully land something on the Moon. Now, the images that we've gotten are both in still photo and video form, just like this one here, where you can see the Vikram rover actually descending down the ramp from the lander onto the surface. And Vikram actually did a test where it drove forward and backward just to make sure the movement was functional and everything was operating well. In the space world, they call that nominal. So it was a nominal movement and it's very exciting to see that. But Vikram also took a picture of the lander itself. So here you go. This is what it looks like for a brand new 2023 lander to be on the moon. Again, just absolutely Absolutely insanely well done, India. You guys are doing awesome work. Can't wait to see what data and imagery comes from the South Pole of the Moon from you guys. So this week was a huge week for astronomical events in the night sky, the first of which being a super blue moon. Now let's break down what that means because obviously that doesn't mean an extra large uh, adult beverage that you might get at your <laughs> local bar. Uh, a super blue moon actually means a couple of things. So one, a blue moon means that we had two full moons in the same month. So August 2023 was one of those months where we had one right at the beginning and we just squeezed in another full moon right at the end. And a super moon actually refers to the orbit shape of the moon. Now the moon actually has an elliptical shape orbit. It's, it's kind of ovular. It's not perfectly round. It's a little bit more elongated, meaning it's a little bit closer to the earth on this given month. So if you combine those events, headlines go nuts and there's super blue moons everywhere. However, I will attest it did appear super bright. I did take this picture. This is my shadow in my backyard. This is all moonlight. And that was because I was outside taking images and video of the super blue moon. So here are some captures that I had of the moment as it was full. Uh, we had perfect weather here where I was. It was totally clear. This whole week has been gorgeous. So I was really glad to capture this event. Also, the planet Saturn made headlines this week because it was at what we call opposition, which basically means Earth passed Saturn in its orbit. We were kind of perfectly in between the sun and Saturn. And now we're officially moving away from Saturn in the other direction. So if you're looking through a telescope at Saturn at this point of the year, it's going to appear much larger, much brighter, and more clear. In six months, when we're furthest away from it, Saturn will appear much smaller and much dimmer. So right now is the best time to see Saturn all year until 12 months from now, give or take. And this right here was a picture that I captured of Saturn during opposition. I had a ton of fun capturing this picture in my backyard, literally staying up all night to, to get the best shot possible. And it really was a fun way to kind of close out the summer. And lastly, of course, we have some updates regarding SpaceX, Starship, and Super Heavy, the new launch system that's being developed at Starbase Texas, which will be taking humans to and from the moon and Mars in the future. Just a couple of weeks ago, we reported how they did a test fire of 
super heavy, the booster, to see if everything works, and there was actually some issues with it, so they had to abort the test in the middle. Now, just this week, we had a chance to see another test fire where it was almost perfect. They were able to complete the duration of the test. I think maybe they had one or two of the engines fail, but that means we're just that much closer to seeing orbital flight test number two. Last week, I talked about how September 8th was the first look at a possible launch window for that, but with data that's coming in now as we get closer, it's starting to look like that's going to be pushed back, which was something that I kind of predicted last time because most of these launch attempts, certainly when they're prototypes, uh, delays are rampant. So you don't get your hopes up about big solid dates, especially when they're several weeks out. Uh, the best date you can trust is the one that's happening maybe the day before <laughs> or the day of even. Exciting things coming from Starbase. I can't wait to see Starship fly yet again. And there you have it. There is your space news for the end of August, beginning of September 2023. If you missed previous episodes of Space News, I've got a playlist for you right here so you can catch up. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss future episodes. Thanks again for watching and I will see you all on the other side.